everyone, this is Laurie for BeckyHiggins.com, and today I'm going to show you how to add photo overlays to your pictures and to your layouts. Now, photo overlays are one of my favorite ways to easily add little bits of design and artwork to my pictures. To get started, I'm going to show you how to add an overlay to an individual picture that you can then save and send to your printer. I have a picture open of my daughter. Go ahead and open a picture that you would like to add an overlay to. Next, we are going to open up an overlay that we're going to add right on top. And to do that, we're going to go to File and Open. Or you can use the hotkey commands of Command and O on a Mac or Control and O on a PC. And navigate to the place that you have the kit that you would like to use. I'm going to use this Adventure Awaits kit. And I'm going to open the overlays. I have my picture sized to a 3x4 already, so I'm going to use a 3x4 overlay. If you have a 4x6 picture, you can use these 4x6 overlays. Select the overlay that you would like to use. Click Open. Now when you open an overlay, you'll notice that you have this checkered background. This just indicates that it's transparent. There's no design or anything on top of it. With our Move tool selected over here, we want to click and drag this overlay down to the thumbnail of our picture. Now, it's a little bit tricky sometimes to grab hold of these overlays because there's so much transparency. Sometimes if you click down, it just does not want to select your layer to move it down. So one trick that you can do is that you can hold your Command key if you're on a Mac or your Control key if you're on a PC and then click and drag down to our photo and then let go. So you will see now that my overlay has come right on top of my photo. We can use the move tool and the arrow keys to nudge our overlay into position. Now one thing is if you will zoom in a little bit, you can do that by doing the command and plus key or the control and plus key. You will notice that you have these thin little lines that go around this overlay. So there's two ways that you can get rid of it. You can either resize your overlay to make it a tiny bit bigger, so we can select our overlay layer, click down on one of these corner transform handles, and drag out a little bit. And then we can click on the arrow key to commit our changes. And we can use the arrow keys to kind of re refine that position. The other thing you can do, I'm going to undo my resizing here, is that we can zoom in on this layer and we can erase it if we want to. Now to do that, you want to select your overlay layer and select your eraser tool or the hotkey command of letter E. We want to make sure that we have just a hard round brush down here. You can adjust the size with this little slider tool or you can use your bracket tools and it can make your brush either bigger or smaller. And you can click down and you can erase these lines. zoom back out. When you're happy with how this looks, you can go ahead and save it by going up to File and Save As. And you can name your picture. You can save it as a PSD format if you want to go back in and make changes to it. So down here we're going to choose the Photoshop format and hit Save. And then we also need to make a JPEG copy of it so that we can send it to be printed. So save as, change your format to JPEG, and hit save. Click OK. Now that I'm done with this picture, I'm going to go ahead and close it down. And before I close this overlay, I want to show you a trick for how you can change the color 
on overlays that have a solid color to another solid color. So for instance, if I wanted this to be red, I can change this white lettering to red. And to do that, I'm going to hold down my command key if I'm on a Mac or my control key if I'm on a PC, and I'm going to click on this thumbnail of my layer and my layers palette. And now over here, you will see that my overlay has the selection drawn around it. To change the color, I'm going to go up to edit, fill selection, and it's asking me where I want to pull my color from. I'm going to click down and click on color and it will bring up my color picker. Now I can use my slider and I can choose a color from here. If I have a specific color that I want to use and I know the hex code or the RGB code, I can type those in here. I'm just going to show you just a random color that I'm going to pick. I'm going to choose this bright red and click OK. Our blending mode is normal and we're going to click OK. Now you will see that my overlay is now red. And to get rid of my selection, I can type Command and D on a Mac or Control and D on a PC. And now you can add this overlay with this different color to your picture or to your layout. The next thing we're going to work on is how to add an overlay to a template directly. I'm going to go ahead and close down this overlay and I'm not going to save it because I want to keep my original overlay. I'm going to go up to file and open and I'm going to navigate to the place where I have my layout. This layout already has my pictures and my cards added to it. I'm just going to add the overlays on top of it. Now the great thing about overlays is not only can you add them to pictures, but you can also add them to cards as well. And you can make your own custom cards. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a custom card up here in this left hand corner. I'm going to select this clipping mask layer and you will notice that it's highlighted in my layers palette. And I'm going to hold my command key if I'm on a Mac or the control key if I'm on a PC and I'm going to click down on this thumbnail of this layer and you will see that it's drawn the selection around my layer. I'm going to fill this with a solid color and to do that I'm going to go up to edit, fill selection and I'm going to use color which is going to pop up this color picker if I move my mouse over my layout, you will see that it turns into this eyedropper tool. So I can, can go in and I can sample any colors that are in my layout. I want to use this red color in this picture. I'm going to click OK and click OK again. And you will see that it's now painted that clipping mask, this red color, and it matches my layout perfectly. To deselect this selection, I'm going to type Command and D on a Mac or Control and D on a PC. And I'm going to add a photo overlay over the top of this layer now. Go up to File and Open. Navigate to the kit that you want to use. I'm going to be using the Adventure Awaits collection again. Select the overlay you want to use and click open. I'm going to pop up my photo bin. Select my move tool. Now I'm going to hold down my command key on a Mac or my control key on a PC and click and drag it down to my layout and let go. Now you'll see that it's hidden beneath these layers. So if I hold down my command key or my control key again and click, I can move it up over my card. And that should have come in right over my red layer over here, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see that. 
Now I want to add this overlay to my clipping mask. And this is a similar to how we add our pictures and our cards to clipping masks. So I'm gonna find my photo overlay layer in my layers palette. I'm going to hover between these two layers. I'm going to type my option key on a Mac or the alt key on a PC until I get this little arrow and I'm going to click down to create a clipping mask. You can also do this by doing the hotkey command of Control, Alt, and G on a PC or Command, Option, and G on a Mac. Now that I have this clipped in, I can go and resize my overlay by clicking down on one of these transform handles, nudging it in a little bit. I can click on the green check mark when I'm happy with it. And I can use my move tool or my arrow keys to kind of nudge it into place. Now that that overlay is in place, I'm going to add another overlay. I'm going to zoom out a little bit by typing the command and minus key on a Mac or the control and minus key on a PC. And I'm going to add an overlay to this picture. So I'm going to click down on it and it should highlight that layer in the layers palette. And we want the overlay to come right over this layer. So that's why it's important that we have this layer selected. I'm going to close down my other overlay by clicking on the X on the tab. I'm going to open a new photo overlay by going to File and Open. I'm going to select the overlay that I want to use and click Open. I'm going to pop up my photo bin, make sure my Move tool is selected. Now I'm going to hold my Command key if I'm on a Mac or my Control key if I'm on a PC and click and drag that layer down to the thumbnail of my layout and let go. Once again, it looks like it's a little hidden behind these other cards, so I'm gonna hold my command key again, or my control key if I'm on a PC, and drag it until it's up on top of my photo layer. Now over here in my layers panel, you will see that I already have a picture that is clipped into my clipping mask of my template but I can add another layer into this clipping mask. You can add multiple layers into one clipping mask. So I'm going to click on my photo overlay layer in my layers palette, and I'm going to hover on the line between my overlay and my picture, and I'm going to type my option key if I'm on a Mac or the alt key on a PC until I get that arrow, and I'm going to click down. Now these two layers are part of this clipping mask. I can go up here and you will see that my overlay is just slightly being cut off by my clipping mask so I can go in and resize that by making sure that my overlay layer is selected, clicking down on one of the corner transform handles and just dragging in a little bit until I'm happy with where it's at. Then I can click on the green check mark to commit my changes. I'm going to repeat the process with the same overlay to these photos down here. So again, I'm going to click on my photo to make sure that it's selected over here in the layers panel, and that way I know that my overlay is gonna come right on top of it. Switch back over to my overlay, pop up my photo bin, make sure my move tool is selected, hold my command or my control key, click down, and drag to my layout. Again, it's hidden beneath these layers, so I'm gonna hold down my command or my control key and click and drag down to my photo. I'm going to create a clipping mask by hovering on the line between my overlay and my picture. On a Mac, you're gonna hold the Option key until you have the arrow, click down, or the Alt key on a PC, and then click down. With my overlay selected, I'm going to go in here, click on a Transform handle, and click and drag until I'm happy with the size. 
then I'm going to check the green check mark to commit. Same thing for this picture. I'm going to select this picture. So this picture is highlighted in my layers palette. Switch over to my overlay, pop up my photo bin. With the move tool selected, hold command key or the control key, click and drag down to your layout. With your command or your control key, click and drag over your photo. In the layers palette, you're going to hover on the line between your overlay and your picture, and you're going to type the option key if you're on a Mac or the alt key on a PC and click down to create your clipping mask. With that overlay layer still selected, you're going to go over to your layout and click on one of the transform corners and drag in to resize. on the green check mark to commit. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an overlay to this picture right here so I can close down the overlay that I've been using because I want to use a different one. I'm going to go up to file and open and I'm going to open my three by four overlays. Open this one with my move tool selected. I'm going to open my photo bin Hold my command key or my control key and click and drag down. Now I wanted to show you, see how I didn't have my picture selected? Now my overlay is way up here. So that's an easy fix. All I have to do is click on that layer and drag it down to my photo layer. Now it's right above my photo. I can use my move tool, move this over, and I'm going to create a clipping mask once again by hovering on the line between my overlay and my picture and typing the option key if I'm on a Mac or the alt key on a PC and clicking down. With the overlay layer selected, click down on the corner transform handle and click and drag it in to resize it. Going to click on the green check mark to commit, and then I can use my arrow keys to nudge into place. So you can see that the overlays add just a little bit of creativity and interest to your layout. I can go back up here if I want to and add a little bit of journaling. I can also add overlays to cards if I choose to do it that way. There are a lot of possibilities with overlays. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful, and if you have any questions on how to add overlays to your layouts or to your pictures, you can email us at digital at beckyhiggins.com.